Getting back to our roots, Wide Awake, but not the audio slave way of playing Wide Awake, the Chris Cornell solo acoustic way of playing Wide Awake for Jamie Stewart, Carlos Huerta, and Prem Fort. Supporter of the cause, Prem, Mr. Fort, thank you so much for the food. Let's go. The first step in an operation such as this is to put your guitar into drop D. So your low E string is now a low D string. One of my favorite things about playing guitar is when you're in drop D and you play a D chord, you now get to strum all of the strings. Because it's no longer the E note that doesn't belong in the D chord and the A note's okay too, that's in our D chord, but this also works for your D minor chord, which is the chord everyone always forgets. It's E1, G2, and B3, strum everything reach for that used to be E string third fret and you can abandon your pointer finger leave your ring finger where it is out of your D chord and go three three two some question in my mind whether he or not he's playing the whole he, you could smash down two or three strings there and then you'd have like a little power chord um, I don't know he even used his thumb sometimes so I'd say do that if you feel like it and don't do it if you don't feel like it I like the single notes better than the power chords personally but yeah you pick the verse is a four sets of four thing like often tends to happen starting on your D minor. Remember you can still strum all the strings for your D minor. Two of them. And then F, this is F, the power chord on the third fret. It used to be where G was, but now this string is two notes lower than it used to be, right? So three, 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 we're gonna call it F. Not this, this, for this version of this song. Anyways, D minor, F, D minor, repeat. Fs are going to change to B flat for three and four. And again. And then there's an end tag. It's A suspended four to A regular. So B flat, the chord, you know, this chord nobody likes. There's, we got the chord and no one remembers how to play and the chord no one likes to play. So two for two on this song. It's one, three, three, three. On A, D, G, B is B flat, and our A suspended four. From your regular A, you move your ring finger up one fret there to that B string third fret. So whole verse. D minor. F, D minor. Again. Fs are going to become B flats. And one measure of A sus4 and A regular. Also, you can play around whenever you go back to that D minor, taking your pointer finger off the E string, the baby E string. For, you hear Chris do that a bunch in a bunch of the versions of yeah chorus is no problem d minor then f but regular the way you think about it f followed by a b flat sorry d minor and then c and that's it do it again d minor The second verse is the same as the first verse, but I think Chris caught a case of uh, an affliction I'm often <laughs> afflicted with, <laughs> with which, an oh man, prepositions, run out of words disease, so that the uh, there's only three lines, not four, there's only one B flat one, and then it goes to the D minor at the end, and the A sus, regular A thing, into the chorus. 
I found you guilty of the crime. Ah, this I know at the end of the second course is gonna be, I'm going with the live in Sweden one on YouTube that doesn't have the video because the one that has the video from a while ago, he sort of fizzled out here on the guitar and yeah, he did. So anyway, so it's B flat, A, D minor, and G with a B in the bass. Love to play the entire G, but we cannot because we're in drop D, so we're gonna have to settle with G with a B in the bass, which is everything about G except no low string. A2, B3, E3. B flat, A, D minor, this side no. Now pay attention, 007. The last chorus is a little different, so it's gonna start the same, and it's chill, right? D minor, but instead of F, it's C. B flat, D minor like regular, and, and on C like regular. So it was regular, except that first F was a C instead. Second time is all the way regular, D minor, F, B flat, D minor, and then C, and then he starts yelling, and it is D minor. to remember that progression is if you look at your roots on the A string, D's here, right? C's here, and B flat's here. So you can think of it as starting here, going down, three blind mice style, and then back to the end of it. Of course, I wouldn't play the bar chords, but just to think of it, when you're like, I don't remember. Think. Awesome, Prem Ford, thank you again so much. Everybody else, thank you for being here. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.